Hey tea people, it's Care here. Today I wanted to share one of my favorite teas. This is a black tea from Neverland Tea Salon in Vancouver. If you ever get a place, a chance to go there, it is, it's kind of expensive. I mean, you can order just one or two teas and have it cheaper, but um, they're one of the best tea places in Vancouver, I think. And um, this is one of my favorites from there. It's called Almond Joy. It is a scented black, a sweet blend of Ceylon, uh, Ceylon and Chinese black teas with flakes of coconut and almond. Ingredients, black tea, coconut flakes, almond flakes. And, almond bits. and you know, they gotta have some kind of, um, like, a, it's almost like almond flavoring in here because you can see the little, little bits of almond there, but oh my gosh. Mm, it smells so almondy, like you just opened a package of fresh marzipan kind of thing, or, um, or like, you know those Florentines and those really almondy desserts? So yeah, anyway, Almond Joy. Uh, I like this tea as a latte. Again, I don't usually um, add sugar to things. If you add sugar, it makes it taste like a really like mm, almondy, almondy candy bar. It smells so good when it's steeping. And uh, like you can take a look in there. I don't know how well you can see, but it's one of those teas that has a little bit of... Uh, like oil beading on the top, I'm guessing from the like almond essential oil or even just the oil off the bits themselves. I'm not totally sure, you know, how transparent they are with their labeling, but that gives it a really, really good mouthfeel. Now I find teas like that, I much prefer as lattes. For me, um, just this is a really personal preference, but um, I prefer when they have that, the, the little kind of it doesn't sound good to call it an oil film, but the, the little beads of oil like flavors on top that it, it, it blends much nicer into some kind of milk than just on its own. This tea is pretty good on its own without milk. Um, you still get that almond taste, but I like to have it with almond milk, ha, huh, because it's an almond tea. And I don't have a lot of, uh, like I don't, I don't usually drink regular milk, so I usually go with almond or coconut or one of the alternatives. But this stuff is so good as a latte. With almond milk, it just makes it so almondy. Mmm. So much almond. It's like almond candy. So good. So, 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 so good. Um. Mmm. It is a scented black. So, uh, like, it doesn't, they don't actually label their stuff for caffeine content, but it, it is a good wake-up tea, like, beginning of day tea, and, um, like, I, I like to have it in the mornings. It also makes a decent iced tea or iced latte, because the almondiness is so good. Obviously, it's no good if you're allergic to nuts. Don't do it. Uh, and the, the other thing I wanted to say about this was, um, like, I forget what I was going to say. Hmm. It's just really good. Try it. I'll link um, Neverland Tea Salon in the comments. Almond. Almond tea. Oh, it survives re-steeping really well. Uh, you can steep it probably two or three times before it starts to lose its... I mean, it depends. I put a lot in my tea, tea things when I steep. But I've found that I can steep this a second time and it'll make a nice, like, mildly almondy iced tea. But you have to really follow the steeping directions. Like, it's two to three minutes. Don't do it longer than that. And if you're going to try to re-steep it later, use a little more than you would otherwise. And do it for, like, two minutes, I find. It'll be strong the first time, a little bit milder the second time. Third time, it's not going to have much flavor. But, uh, hmm, I'm going to make curdles a little bit. Hmm. Anyway, that's my review of Almond Joy from Neverland Tea Salon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.